Now here's an interesting question. What does the Ferrari F430, the McLaren MP4-12C, and this 2008 Mini Cooper convertible have in common? Well, in my opinion, they're all modern collectibles. And this one is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Now in 2008, Mini built over 54,000 of these cars. That's a lot of cars. In fact, when you consider the Mark I and Mark II models, those are the first gen Minis, they are the most popular British cars ever made. But in my opinion, if you want a modern collectible, the one to get is this 2008 Mini Cooper S convertible, and I'll tell you why. Unlike the current generation of the Mini, this one is supercharged and not turbocharged. In fact, it puts out 168 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. Now, I love superchargers, especially up here at elevation because they provide instant torque and power versus having that little bit of a weight with the turbo. This car also has, check this out, a functional hood scoop. The current one has a hood scoop, but it's more for decoration. This car is also smaller than the current generation. I love the way this car drives. It's basically a go-kart. That's the best way to describe it. Razor sharp handling, direct feel from the front wheels, instant torque from the supercharged engine. There's a saying, it's much more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow. And this is by no means a slow car. It'll go 138 miles an hour, but it is small and there's a great feeling of freedom and of speed when you've got the top down like this. One of the things to keep in mind is that there is a little bit of cowl shake and a little bit of torque steer, but you know what? It's nothing bad. I mean, people have been racing minis now for, well, since the late 50s, and they've pretty much sorted it out. The combination of BMW engineering and British design and kind of, uh, well, provenance has created a spectacular little car. I have to tell you, I love this interior. You have a classic six-speed manual transmission the way God intended people to drive. Over here where the current one has this big pie plate for a speedometer. The speedometer is up here where it should be. I know the original one had it in the center, but I like it up here where I can see it when I'm driving. And best of all, at least in my mind, you have these very simple yet functional toggle switches and you have a really cool missing roof. In fact, when you close this roof, you can close it in two stages. The first stage gives you a sunroof and the second stage, well, that's when you get to drive under such beautiful Colorado skies. In my mind, a car's collectability is directly proportional to its practicality. In other words, the more practical a car, the less collectible it is. Because 30 years from now, when you're interested in buying a car like this, you're not looking to haul stuff or haul people. You're looking to buy something that's fun. And what's more fun than a convertible? Plus, and this is a huge bonus, this Mini will seat four people in a pinch. Maybe not on a long trip, but certainly to the grocery store and back, it's a perfect around town topless wonder. And of course, if the weather does turn ugly, you can always just push this button and in 15 seconds, are you counting? You've got a regular sunroof or 
check it out. And the cool thing is, the way they designed it, you don't lose any space in here. So it's as spacious with the top up as it is with the top down. The only thing that changes, you won't get wet when driving. Not bad, not bad at all. Now this mini convertible was built from 2005 until 2008. And here's a unique fact, in 2008 they were actually already selling the current generation of the Mini in the coupe form, not the convertible. What makes this car unique is that it still has that old school, and by that I mean previous gen styling. The lights are in the front where they should be, they're not on the side. The car is smaller, it's tighter, and I think, of course, it's a lot more fun because it's supercharged and not turbocharged. Oh, that is just music to my ears. I don't know if you can hear it back there, but up front here, I can hear the whine of the supercharger. Oh, that is sweet, sweet music indeed. The best opera in the world. Yeah, I know that's German, but this is owned by BMW after all. Zero to 60 in the Mini Cooper S convertible. Mini says about 7.3 seconds at sea level. Now we're at a mile above sea level, which means we're a lot slower here, less air density. The supercharger help makes up for that, but not a lot. So let's see if I can get close to that. Usually we're about two seconds to 60 slower up here. Here we go. Oh, got a little bit of wheel spin and a little bit of bog. Okay, there's 7,000, here comes a shift. There's 50, and here comes 60 in second gear. Just over nine seconds. Yeah, about two seconds to 60 slower. From the late 50s until the early 70s, they sold over five million minis. And the reason for that is the car's ingenious design. Of course, what you do is you take the wheels, put them as far back as possible, take the engine, mount it transversely, make it front wheel drive and maximize the interior volume making for a tiny yet incredibly large car on the inside at least. And that is the magic of the Mini. Here's an interesting fact, if you're ever cold in the original Mini, stand in front of the front wheel because the radiator is on the side and that's where the hot air comes out of. <laughs> oh my, that is so much fun. Is there torque steer? You bet. But is there also wind in your hair? You bet, and is there that classic British small car convertible feel in spades? Do you remember at the start of this video when I asked what do this Mini, a Ferrari, and a McLaren have in common? Well, they were all designed by the same guy, Frank Steffensen. So, on the TFL scale of collectability, which means it'll be collectible in 10, 20, 30, or 40 years, I'm gonna hedge my bets, and I'm gonna say that this 2008 Mini convertible Cooper S will be collectible in 25 years. As always, this is Roman, reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe for a new car video every day. See you next time. Nathan, this must be one of the most popular cars in the United States. Folks, you're looking at the 2013 Honda Accord Sport, and nobody, nobody has received so many requests as we have, specifically from you, to review one car. So we were gonna do it later, but we're gonna do it now. And the best thing about this car, Nathan? Six-speed manual transmission, baby. That's right, 2013 Honda Accord Sport MT. Review coming up next on the Fast Lane Cars.